Hi everyone and welcome to our final lecture for ACCESS. We are now in Chapter 3. Um, I've done this once before. It's got um, some slight rigor to it, uh, but this is why I create the lecture videos, just for those that may need that extra little help. Um, as always, I strongly suggest that, of course, you don't try to tackle this without first reading your um, your chapter reading for chapter three and then working through the simulation. Um, again, it's not rocket science, but yes, there is a little bit of rigor to that. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, we've been through this rodeo before, so you all know um, what needs to be done. Go ahead and download your instructions. So it's lengthy. There are uh, 16 steps uh, in this. Don't want to make you dizzy, but let me hurry up and try to get through this because it's going to be a little bit longer this, this week. So go ahead and start your access. Uh, I just did that. I save a couple seconds. Go ahead and save your um, save it. And then once you've done that, all we're going to do is we just want to view the relationship between publishers table and the textbook table. We're not going to be really doing anything. We just really just um, want to uh, view the relationship. So we do have a couple of relationships going on. We've got um, publisher and the science and it says that one publisher can provide many textbooks uh, for science courses. So we'll go ahead and now and close the relationship window. Uh, no, we don't want to save any of those changes. It does not say to do that. Next, we're going to use the form tool to create a form based on the publisher's table. We are going to save it as, and it says publisher form, and then display the form in form view. So we want to create a form, and so we need to click on Publishers Table. There's no need to open it. You did see that while I wasn't on it, uh, it wasn't a live uh, uh, icon. Now that I've clicked on it uh, here, the table, I can just click on the form. And in this form, we are going to save the form as Publisher form, so click your save icon and publisher form, click OK, and then we are going to display this form in form view. Now, this one's going to take me a little bit. I may pause this video so that I don't have to bore you with typing everything, but we are going to add a brand new record with all this information in there. Um, so to do that, down at the bottom of your form, you have a new blank record icon. It's got a like a yellow asterisk. Just click that and it does bring up um, a new blank form. Now, when you are putting in all of this new information, do not hit enter. Tab through the information. And when you get done, double check your um, spelling. I would venture to guess, I bet you the reason why I got a 99% the last time is because I had a typo somewhere or I I don't know, something happened. I should probably check it out to see. Um, yes, I don't always get 100. I would like to, but um, <laughs> it doesn't always happen. So just double check yourself um, and make sure. So let me just kind of read through this. I don't see anything that stands out. Um, by the way, this is always a good um, thing to do while you're taking your final for Excel um, to proofread anything that it asks you to type. So there's one thing there. Okay, so uh, you do have to put in the full URL uh, for the website. Um, some students ask that. Yes, you do have to do that. It won't take. Uh, so just make sure that you have put that in there. And then after you've done that, the record's in. So now in step four, it is saying find the record for the publisher uh, ID of pub 
1006 and then delete the record. There's a couple of ways to do that. You can search here, which is what I like to do. Um, I think in our book we did, uh, we searched here. Um, I suppose either way gets you there. It doesn't really matter. Um, I, I don't mind doing, doing it here. It's just a little bit simpler for me. Uh, but once we um, are in there, go ahead and take a look. Um, what you're going to end up doing is then you need to click and make this live, and then your delete will come up. You just cannot click delete. You do need to open up your drop down box and then delete the record. So yes, we are going to delete. Go ahead and do that. Then the other half of this says to find the record, uh, pub008. Well, I'm just going to click next record because I know that this is the next record. And then using the print dialog box, we are going to use the setup option. So we're going to go to print and print, pre whoops, sorry about that. Print, and we're going to go into print here and set up and we're going to go to columns because in the instructions it says to change the column size width to 7.5 inches and then save the form. Now we don't want to do anything here so just go ahead and click cancel but do save. Now we're going to filter by form tool, we're going to use that to create a filter for the publisher form that displays records. Uh, let me just give you a visual, sorry about that. Uh, for California and Texas, so we are in step five. This is a little bit different. Um, I have used publisher to set up um, databases for uh, employers that I worked for in the past. Um, but I don't really sort, uh, I haven't really sorted by, um, you know, state or city or anything like that just to really have anything set up. So, but this is definitely a cool feature to use. So one thing to keep in mind is that um, when you're sorting by uh, filters, um, the filter form, um, you're just going to go make sure that you're on the home tab and then we're going to go to the sort and filter group and you are going to click advanced. Then you're going to go down to filter by form, uh, filter by form, and so we know that we're on the right one, it says filter by form, and then we are going to go in and click the state and you'll notice a little drop down box pops open. Um, in fact, it does it for all of them. I'll just give you a visual on that. So we're going to go to state. So we first want to sort by California. Then you're going to go back up to your sort and filter group and click the toggle filter. Then you're going to, um, in the sort and filter group, click your advanced and then filter by form again. And now you see that we've got um, an OR tab click on your OR tab and we want Texas this time and then after you get that done we are going to go back up to our sort and filter group and then um, click our toggle filter and that is really almost it and before you do that um, you will see down here um, I don't want to go too far, but this is um, this information here is what we sorted through. So we've got California or Texas. Now let's take a look at our instructions to see um, what we're going to be doing next. After verifying that there's three records, which we just did, um, match the filter criteria, toggle the filter off to display all seven records, and then close the form. So we do have the three records, so let's go back into our sort and filter group again. And then we're going to click advanced, and then we're going to, um, and then we're just going to um, just turn off the filters. So we are done. Okay, now the next question, oh, and then we have to save and close the form. So don't forget that, save and then 
close the form. Um, let me just save that again and now close. So number six says to use the form wizard to create a form based on the science textbooks table. Then we're going to add fields in this order. So I will read those to you. And so you will want to, um, we're going to create, but um, what we want to do is go ahead and click the form wizard. So make sure that it's the form wizard, not report or anything else, but just form wizard. And we don't want publishers, we want science textbooks. And then we're going to add the following fields in this order. So we want courses. Uh, textbook name, publisher ID, price per book, and number of books. So again, that's courses, text name, publisher ID, price per book, and numbers per book. And once you have that, then you're going to apply the column there, and then we are going to name this science textbook form, and then we're going to finish. With the science textbook form displayed in layout view, so let's just make sure that we're in layout view, we are going to apply the stacked layout to all of the controls. So we've got all of these controls here. Whoops. And make sure you don't click in any blank spots because if you do, it'll take you off. And so to all of the controls, and we are going to um, do a range, so then stack. And then you're going to apply the Ion Boardroom theme. So Ion Boardroom. Then we're going to right click him and we only want to apply it to this form. With the science textbook form displayed in laid out, layout view, and I'm on number eight now, let me give you a visual, sorry. Um, it says to select the title science textbook form. And then we're going to make some changes to him. So we're going to select the title and we are going to change the font size to 16. We're going to apply bold, and you're going to change the font color, and this is font color here, and we're going to change that to dark purple, accent 2, and then save the form. Oh, we're at our halfway point finally. Now, step 9 says, with the science textbook form selected in the layout view, and I'm just going to give you a visual on that, so we're in layout view still. From the filled list pane over here, you are going to add the textbook ID directly to the form above the textbook name control. So you're just going to click it and drag it, and we want to put it above the textbook name. So you can see my, uh, I guess it's pink line. That's where you're going to put it. Close the filled list pane. And then in the form, move the um, hashtag book controls, and that's not a hashtag, that's a number sign or pound sign, controls directly above the price book controls. Now I need to select both of these, so control, make sure I've got my mover for this, and I'm going to say right above, or place it right above the price book, and it takes both. And number 10, with the science textbook form displayed in layout view, and I'll just double check, I'm still in layout view, we are going to display record 9. So let's go down here. You don't even have to click through. Just type 9 and hit your enter, and it shows 9 of 16. You are going to change the width of the textbook name text box to um, 4. So um, I just want to uh, pause just for one second um, to, to make this move. I just want to point out something. These 
are um, your label controls, and this is your text box control. So do not choose textbook name. This control, we actually want the box control um, that's got the textbook name in it. And um, of course, this is your label control um, here. Um, so let's just be mindful of that. I just don't want you to, to change the wrong height. Now to do that, uh, to change the height, we do need to be on property sheet. And so in step 10, it's telling us to select the textbook name box control to uh, change this width to uh, four inches. And the widths on all the textbook controls change. And that just means that all six of these records are going to change now. All right, save the form. And I'm not going to close this up because the next uh, 11 through, I think, 13 or 14 steps, we're going to be needing our property sheet. So just leave it open. So with the science textbook form displayed in layout view, we are now going to select six text box controls. Now remember, these are your text box controls. So you're just going to select all of the text box controls. And this is a little lengthy, so I'll go a little bit slow in 11. With those selected, you are going to change the background color. And so we are formatting something, and this is the background color. We are going to change that to orange, accent 4, lighter 80%. And so after you get that done, and just, I'm going to double check, see change the background color to orange accent 4, lighter 8%. Now number 12 says, with the science textbook form displayed in layout view, select all six label controls. Again, label controls are here. And with that done, we are going to change the font color to um, orange, accent 4, darker 50%. And then for the same controls, we're going to change the width to 1.75. Don't forget to hit enter once you get those done. and You've put something in here uh, for your property sheet that helps to accept it. Um, and then when you get that done, we're almost there, step 13. This is kind of lengthy, I uh, apologize for that. Um, with the text, the uh, science textbook form displayed in layout view, select the six label controls and the six text box controls. So we're going to leave those selected and then go over and get the text box controls. Uh, with that done, now uh, selected, now we are going to change the font size to 12. So it made it larger. And then we're going to change the height to 0 0.25. And let's go ahead and save this form. Uh, step 14, let me give you a visual. We are almost there. With the science textbook form displayed in design view, we are going to be changing the height and the footer section. So this one's, um, this one's also fun. So for this, um, we are going to go to our design view. And you may recall from our reading um, that to add something, um, like to add one of these uh, labels, you have to be in design view. So I'm going to go slow here in case um, you're not real familiar with this. We are going to change the height of the form footer section. And I'm going to click this to 0 0.5. And then once that's done, and you, by the way, you have to do this in the right order because you won't be able to add anything. Then you're going to add um, a label control and so I'm gonna hover so you can see that label popped up um, it says it right there so I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna draw a box and I'm gonna type in Texas Lakes Science 
books. And then while I'm still in design view, now I'm on 15. Woohoo, we're almost done. Hang on there, hang in there. Uh, we are going to label our control uh, with the label control still selected. So make sure that you click on the outside here and that way he's selected. Uh, we are going to change the font color to orange. And so let's go back to format and now we're going to go over to font color and change him to orange. Accent for darker 50% apply bold to the label control and now let's change the width to 2.2 don't forget to hit your enter for the same label control set the top property so we're going to go into top to 0 0.1 and then the left property to 1.95 then you're going to close the property sheet. So we're just going to exit here, save the form, and then close the form. Oh, that's it. Now it says, if necessary, close all the database objects. Um, we didn't have anything open here, uh, but it does say um, go ahead and close up everything. And so we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to close here. Now, I'm going to upload this. I had a student or two text me um, the last couple of weeks about getting an error, an error here that says, hey, you can't submit. I finally figured out what that error meant. It means um, you got timed out because it took you so long to um, submit. So with that said, um, what you may have to do, and let me just give you a visual, you may have to close up and then go back in, and I, I went into my completed because we just completed this, um, but you may have to go in back to your to-do and bring it back up. So here I got another 99%. I don't know what happened, but I'll take it. I'm not going to redo this video. All right, I think that's it. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Uh, get in there and ask me a question in the Ask the Instructor tab in Blackboard. All right, have fun with your last chapter of Access.